Welcome to a new part of the Evergene video tutorial series. Let's start without further delay. Evergene provides a visual tool to ease the 3D scene design, entity, and resource management. Also, it provides a scene preview and other typical characteristics of high-end editors to slash an application's development time. Now, this tool is Evergene Studio, and we're going to explain how its sections have been laid out on the screen. We open Evergene Studio and select a project from the launcher. Once it opens, we can see the sections in which it has been divided. On a new project, Evergene Studio will open the default empty scene, but we'll open the scene later. Now, we're going to start talking about every section. The first section we find is the upper menu, where we see the actions for file, addition, settings, resources, theme selection, window configuration, and help. The next section is the Project Explorer. We use the Explorer to organize the content of our application in folders. There are no constraints for the content in the folders, so we can organize them freely. We can see a tree node called Content, and this is the asset folder for this project. Also, the Dependency node represents the common content that has been downloaded and protected. When we select a folder, we'll see its content at bottom section. From here, we can search, create new resources, browse to inner folders, or open an asset for editing in the document section. The document section is the area on the right in Evergene Studio. Let's open a scene from content. We only have one by default. We can see that the scene is now open in the document area. And in the scene, we have a 3D render of the entities it owns. On the top of the view, we can find some options as translation, rotation, and scale. Also, we can find other options as coordinate axis origin, global or local, and the scene editor camera options. The entities are shown at the entity hierarchy section. In this section, it's possible to expand or collapse groups of entities, or you can select every one of them. The selected entity can be handled directly on the scene or by using the Entity Detail panel for more precision. The Detail panel is under Entity Hierarchy, and we can see and edit the selected entity components. We can change properties as Name or allocate a tag for later use in code. Now it's possible to add new components by clicking on the plus icon and the component collection will pop up. We can remove a component using the remove option in the context menu. At the bottom, there's the output panel. We'll use it to know the state of the project. There it will show debug messages, build messages, or it will warn us if it cannot find a related component. The output panel is initially located at the bottom section of Evergene Studio. In conclusion, Evergene Studio is a powerful tool to develop visual applications. We've shown an initial layout that allows a fast access to resources, edit their properties, and see the results in real time. This layout can be configured to improve the user experience. Thanks for watching this video tutorial. Don't miss the next in the video series. We'll see you soon. Evergene. Elevate your vision.